All right. So welcome to our Soho Muse virtual entertainment series. Soho Muse is thrilled to provide our members with an outlet to perform during these unprecedented times. And we are delighted to have partnered with Muse Tech in putting this series together. Today's performance is being graciously donated by the artist. However, gratuities are welcome and we will be posting links to a virtual tip jar via PayPal throughout the show and all proceeds go directly to the artist. Tony Tixier is a pianist, composer, Yamaha artist, and has performed with a wide range of musical legends from Andrea Bocelli, Alpha Blondi, Gregory Porter, Wallace Roney, Christian Scott, Seamus Blake, Logan Richardson, Etienne Charles, and Kendrick Scott. He has been featured on some of the top stages in the world, including Radio City Music Hall, The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel Live, The Blue Note, in NYC, Jazz and Marciac, Jazz Avian, and the legendary Ronnie Scotts in London. He also opened for Herbie Hancock at the Jazz on Death Festival in Clermont-Ferrand with his twin brother, violinist Scott Tixier. Tony and Scott starred in a commissioned work by the artist Jonna Cardiff. Very recently, they composed the music for this project that was part of the inaugural program for the foundation uh, at Louis Vuitton Paris which was built by the famed building architect, Frank Gehry. Tixier also played at Radio City Music Hall as the pianist for the NBC TV show, America's Got Talent. In 2017, after being signed as a Yamaha artist, Tony began as an ambassador for Hennessy VSOP and wrote the music of the new campaign in collaboration with BJ, the Chicago Kid. In 2018, his trio album, Life of Sensitive Creatures, featured bassist Carl McComas Reichel and drummer Tommy Crane, Tommy Crane on Whirlwind Records. Well, we now introduce Tony. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, man. Wow, you you really uh, wow. You, you said a lot. I think I feel like uh, you you you've been uh, informed about my uh, my life. So this is pretty. Uh, thank you. Right. Uh, I, I welcome everybody. I don't know how many people are here right now, but I just want to say hi to everybody and. Um, Yes, so welcome to my place. And you see the link just pop up. This link is to support the music. But most importantly, uh, I'm I'm glad I'm glad you're here, and to have your ears here is beautiful, because this platform seems like to be the. I mean, I did a sound check before, and it was amazing, and uh, I feel like I'm really like I'm, like really with you guys. It's, it's incredible. So, hey, so I'm going to play some music for you guys. Um, I'm going to play some tune from my, uh, my last album, and also some improvisation, because it's a special uh, setting. It's the first time for me to play in my place at home. So it's not like I'm in, uh, you know, I'm dressed like with my T-shirt, and I'm cool, you know? I'm just going to play at home for you guys. Here we go. Thank you. 
Thank you.
Oh, you guys, I see some French people here. I see some French people like me. <laughs> I see a lot of uh, people I don't know, too, from everywhere, I guess. Wow. Uh, so, guys, thank you so much for being here. I just play uh, a tune of mine and uh, improvise something. Um, I can I can see what you're write, writing there. I can see you. Um, so... I made sure, you know, I played with some, I just played piano for now, but I have some, some computers here, some stuff. Uh, Barack Obama here, I'm gonna move it here. Okay, no, I'm gonna move it here. And uh, and then, you know, I don't know if you can see this here, you can see it. Um, the funny thing is, uh, my new album, okay, I'm gonna answer to that. The funny thing is like, uh, I'm getting a new piano tomorrow, okay. If this is my old, it's from 19, uh, it's an electric keyboard from 1996, something like this, really old. And uh, I called Yamaha because I, I, I'm a Yamaha artist and uh, I was like, I'm, I'm doing a live uh, for the Soul Muse and I need, I, need a, I need a well keyboard, you know, to represent Yamaha. And they say, okay, we're sending it to you and they're sending it to me tomorrow. <laughs> so I guess I would love to, to, it's a real piano. I'm getting a real piano tomorrow because I'm a pianist, you know, so. And uh, they sent it to me, thanks to them. But it's a little late, but that's cool. You know, I'm gonna take it. So my, my last album is right there. Uh, for uh, Eleni. Eleni, thank you for the question. Uh, you can get it anywhere, I think. It's, the name is Life of Sensitive Creatures. I will write the name of it on the chat. Or uh, if someone wanna, who has already the album wanna write it, uh, you can you can you can get it in so many platforms. You can get a vinyl signed by me if you reach me on Instagram or something, and uh, I will send you. You know. So guys, uh, I'm gonna play some some more. So I'm gonna play a tune. Actually, I'm gonna try to play a tune. I'm not gonna try. I'm just gonna play a tune from the album. Uh, it's funny because normally I, I I play a lot all around the. The globe, you know, I'm always uh, traveling on a plane or something, and uh, I've been I've been uh, at home, and I, I used to play grand piano in the concert hall. I was like, I don't need a piano at my place. And now I feel like I need it, you know. Anyway, I'm gonna play a tune from my uh, my last album called uh, Denial of Love. What has been your greatest accomplishment to date? Let me can I, I'm gonna play this tune. Because I need to get it out, and then uh, I, I will answer to uh, uh, Montgomery. Uh, okay, it's okay. Love you guys. Some light, maybe more light. Oh, you do. Yes, wait.
That's something I, I just uh, improvised for you guys. So, uh, my my thank you guys. So I just you know I, I got this uh, uh, this uh, nice uh, TR weight. It's not from Yamaha, it's from Ronan, but and I, I just plug a rhythm, you know. And uh, earlier I was trying to uh, you know I'm writing a rhythm in it, and 
and this nice uh, reface Yamaha. And so both together with the piano, the sound of the piano plus the pad. It creates some, some uh, spectrum. Thank you, SG, I see SG, I see Monet Franklin, wow. I see so many people uh, I know and I don't know too. I see my mom, my mom, super ce morceau. My mom is French, she don't speak English, so I have to say to her one thing in French, I'm gonna say, merci maman, je t'aime. And uh, when I do this, do, uh, you see the windows like you can support Tony? Uh, when I do this, the windows is disappearing or not? I don't want, I want to make sure it's not disappearing because I just want to, to make sure I can, I can see my fingers. It's okay. <laughs> okay, I, I, I want to I want to make a shout out to uh, to some people here from the So Muse. They are amazing. I, I just met them, but the the way the, the wow, I felt like I was going to a room. I really felt I was going to um, to a stage. You know, when you go to a stage and you you have to be there early for sound check, and uh, you have to be uh, sure you. You're in time for sound check and you you check the mics and stuff. I did a, a real sound check with those guys. It was it was incredible, and uh, I, I I had to, to use the cable myself because nobody was in the room with me. But it, it's like they called me on the phone. It was it was incredible. This experience is. I just want to redo it, you know, next week or something. Whatever, it's, it's beautiful. Uh, so uh, I play jazz too. I play with many people. I play I play some hip hop uh, with people. I play I mean I play piano for people for many. Genre of music, but for, for me, the only one genre of music is more or less the, what you know, what speaks to you as a you know, I like, I like melodies, I like vibration. And if you have questions, it's the moment, and I will play more right after answering to the questions because I, I forget when someone so I see like uh, uh, I see no question actually. So I'm gonna wait for, for you to make questions. I'm just gonna put the light on here. To have more lights because my apartment is just one second. There we go. I don't know if it changed anything, but maybe it changed a little bit. I mean, the light is not on me. But... Okay, so do you have a question, guys? No? No question? Okay. So I guess I play more, right? I, I did a. Wow. I almost did a big mistake, guys. I didn't plug my. Uh, the my computer battery. I don't want my computer to die. Wow, terrible. Okay, it's on. Okay, guys, any question? Okay, please play rock. Oh, okay, rock it. You mean? I oh, rock it out. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna play. Thank you. 
Thank you guys. Wow. Wow. I think my, my computer is, is warming up. Wow. It's making some weird noise. Is that cool? No, you good? We all good? Um, can you guys tell me, um, first of all, if you can hear the sound of the computer? My, my, my computer is making a little noise. It's an old computer from 2012. So uh, I think it's the first time you work he's on like this for like, such a long time. But it's cool. I plug it in. No. I'm not going to ask him too much. Oh, it's really warm. Okay, I hope he's not going to... If the computer shuts down, like, break, uh, I hope it's not going to happen. That's what I say. He's making a really weird noise he never did before. <laughs> it's kind of scary. Uh, all right, yeah, I'm going to play more. I will play with Philip Glass. Hello, Philip Glass, good question. I met Philip Glass. I met him um, at the house of Gregory Petain, who uh, referred me to this uh, incredible experience, Soul House. So I met, I met Philip Glass. I had no idea I would meet Philip Glass, you know what I mean? I was uh, the Soul, sorry, the Soul Muse, not Soul House. I said Soul House? I'm sorry, I'm crazy. Uh, I, I, was, uh, <laughs> I was at Gregory Petain house in... Um, and Philip Glass was playing piano, you know? Hey, I was at Diane's house, actually. Diane is there. So I was at Diane, Diane house, and uh, Philip Glass was playing piano. And I, I was like, I was with my uh, ex-girlfriend, and she was like, yeah, you want to see Philip Glass tonight? I was like, are you kidding me? Philip Glass is playing somewhere in New York. I was like, okay, let's go. <laughs> so I went there, and uh, I was like, wow, this is Philip Glass on the piano, actually, and it was party. So nobody was like, everybody was like, you no know, casual and stuff. I went to him. I was like, "Man, uh, wow, nice to meet you." <laughs> but he was like, um, "Even we get introduced by someone from Yamaha, and it was it started to be nice. He's a nice cat, but I mean, I was maybe too weird, you know." So that when I met Herbie Hancock, I did the same thing. I went to straight to the house of Herbie Hancock, and uh, I ring the bell in LA. So, you know, I'm a, this kind of dude. I'm crazy. I'm not crazy, but you know, we have one life, and I think we need to just go without being like too pushy, you know. Maybe. If you want to meet someone, just meet him. So I was lucky to meet him. And uh, he didn't hear me play because I didn't play. <laughs> because first of all, I respect him. And uh, he was playing his show and he left. And I wait until he left the house to touch the piano. Because it's called uh, respect, you know. I think people who... I, I, that's something I, I, I recognize is when I play a show, anywhere in the world, I play a show. And after the show, if someone go on stage and start to play the piano, even if it's good or bad, I don't care. The fact that someone can do this is for me is a, is a lack of uh, of awareness of uh, what happened. You know, some music happened from this instrument, and you can just come and and you know it's not your time. You know. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you. Uh, I, I I don't do it in purpose. So I don't do it in purpose. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna play more, guys. All right. Uh, but first of all, I'm gonna just uh, get a glass of water really quick. I know I'm, I'm on stage, and so I'm supposed to be, the water is right there. So here we go. So, Jan. Peton, what is there? It's really nice, nice, nice person. My mom is there too. Then Peton, my mom. Everybody's there. It's incredible. I'm gonna play more for you guys. Here we go. Put some more lights. And, wow. Put some more light on my face. Here we go, guys. Okay. Oh wow. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna. Okay. Thank you, Ben. I'm gonna I'm gonna make up a, a composition for the room. The composition is called Soul Muse. I never played it before, and I will ne never play it again. That's the principle of composition, I guess. No, I mean improvisation, I guess. Something like this.
So Muse, yes. So I don't want you to fall asleep. So I'm gonna play maybe something where I get more into the, the rhythm and stuff. So I'm gonna play something I already wrote, I guess. Are you guys still here? My mom is still here. My mom is good to roll up. Mama, are you still here? I'm playing mostly for her. No, I'm just kidding. I'm playing for everybody actually. And uh, uh, I'm playing for uh, you know for for humanity. You know, is what I want to say. You know. You know, I want to say something about uh, about me because you know I play music, but it's also also a nice uh, place to to share uh, um, a little a little bit about who, who I am as a person, as a human, as an artist. Uh, I'm lucky and fortunate to have grew up in a family where music was the center of uh, of the family. My mom is a dancer and a, a piano player too. My dad is uh, working in the theater and. He made plays and everything. And uh, my, my twin brother is an incredible violinist, player, violin player. And uh, and uh, thank you. And I want to I want to say uh, this is a beautiful. Uh, as an artist, I was lucky enough to have parents who pushed me to, to make music, to make art, and I make photography as well. You know, the pictures in the back, my pictures I took. If, uh, I do a medium format photography films, and I develop myself in my bathroom, I think. And I, you know, I, I like to write poetry. And so, so this is a whole art uh, artistry. Like, op, 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 I've always been open to the to the creation. You know, like how to create, and uh, I never felt like something else than uh, just a soul who was able to express itself. You know, and uh, you know, my mom is. Uh, my mom is black. My 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 dad is white. So I never felt either black or either white. I always felt human, you know. And uh, every time I play on stage anywhere in the world, I always say that. And I, well, why not saying it here, you know? Is uh, it's like you know, I wish one day uh, we would be able to all come together as one. And um, I mean it. I wouldn't mean it. It's not like a slogan or something. I like used to be nice and stuff. It's just, 
very important because I never saw the difference because I grew up in a family where there are no difference between in my family. When I went outside my family, and I start to feel the society, like the, the eyes of the society and people, you know, they try to, it's like music. We try to put music in boxes, you know, the, the jazz music, reggae music, uh, classical music. No, they are, they are one harmony. They are one harmony. You know, when I play C major, it's the same C major in, in jazz, in rock and roll, in pop, in reggae. It's the same, it's the same harmony. It's not from, it didn't born to yesterday. It was there before us, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I, I, when I talk, I go, I can talk a lot. So I'm going to play music. Have you ever uh, played your music too? Uh, oh, good idea. So my idea was before the, the quarantine stuff and the lockdown and stuff, uh, my idea was, you know, I, I've been walking uh, and uh, traveling quite a, a lot and around the world. Last month, two months ago, I was in San Francisco, LA, New York, and then I went to Martinique, I went to London, Spain, I was in uh, Milano, just before the, the virus and stuff. So I was to take one of my cameras, because I have too many cameras over there, and like, they are big, you know, two lenses, so I take one camera and uh, I pick one for a trip, like for, for a tour, and I, I take pictures, portrait mostly, or, you know, try to. And then uh, I write tunes for it, and a little poem. So my goal was to to sing a poem while I was, you know, to put a picture somewhere with a poem coming out of the picture, uh, a poem and the music, and the soundtrack of a, of a picture. So the soundtrack of, of the picture with a poetry. Anyway, but so, so, so Mont Montgomery is a good question because it's my idea too. It was, I never finished finish that, that idea, but uh, I always thought about it, you know, talking about, about that. Uh, I was in Belgium not too long ago, and uh, I wrote a tune called Chocolate Travels Slowly. Chocolate Travels Slowly for you guys. So this tune is about chocolate, but it's also because chocolate, the cacao molecule, go really slowly in the brain. It's like one of the slowest molecules to go to the brain and to the blood and stuff. That's what I heard. I'm not a scientist, but that's what I heard. Thank you, guys. I love you. I, I mean it. I mean it. I don't see you, so... It's, easy, it's easier to, to love you like this, you know, I can feel it. What do you think about the music scene in Europe compared to US? Well, I'm gonna play it to you guys, it's a tough question. But no, I mean, if we talk about the jazz scene, yeah, okay, here we go. You, you want me to get in trouble, Esgi? I don't know, but uh, yes, it's a big, uh, it's a big question. It's, it's, it's not a question, you know, jazz is from, uh, the US, we know this. And then, you know, the, the, I mean, at the beginning of the century, you know, the 20th century, you have the musician in, uh, in Europe, especially in France, classical, like, you know, like Ravel, um, Debussy, who were already like making jazz, kind of, you know, classical, you know, all this harmony. <laughs> this is jazz already, okay? So, you got the answer, right? I'm gonna play more. I never performed at Carnegie Hall, but I went to see my twin brother who was playing. My, my twin brother, I think, played twice or three, three, three times. I went twice to Carnegie Hall. Once to see my twin brother, went to see another show, but I was back, backstage twice and I cried. The first time I went to Carnegie Hall, I, I cried. I cried because, uh, because uh, the room was incredible. I went to see the New England Orchestra. And uh, my one of my friends was in the, in the orchestra. And then the second time, my twin brother was playing. So I went on stage and, uh, oh, Herman is here. I went on stage and uh, I, uh, I um, yeah, I saw my twin. I took videos of him. I was backstage. I was playing piano backstage. because I had piano back, backstage in the Carnegie Hall. I was playing piano. And someone came to me was like, <laughs> someone was like, Wow, so you play violin and piano? I was like, no, this is my twin. Anyway, so I saw Herman Mary there. I saw Esgi. Uh, all these people are um, incredible musicians. I want to make a shout out because I, I don't like when people, they, they don't mention people. Those people, Herman and Esgi are two great musicians. Esgi plays cello, she's incredible cellist. And Herman is a trumpet player and he moved to Paris and we play together. He's, he's gonna uh, put an album out soon. Stay tuned, I'm gonna play a tune from now because it's my time, guys. If you want to get your time, I'm just kidding. Call me later, guys, on my phone. You know, you have my cell phone. <laughs> I think I'm crazy sometimes. Trouble. Shock 
plane travels fully. One question for the people who, who, who really uh, still here. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, can you hear the the sound of the piano? Thank you. Support me on the link below, uh, and I will make sure I make a nice dinner for my friends tomorrow. I'm just kidding, but in the same time, I'm not kidding. It's, it's really important to have uh, your support, guys, right now. And uh, I'm I'm not here to say uh, everybody has need support in these times, but the thing is like arts. You know, when when the rooms were open and when you, you could um, play in live, you know, in front of people, it was it's um it's our job to to you know to travel and to meet people and to hug them and to play and to heal them by their music, you know, and also to finally to get paid to pay the house, the rent and stuff. But now we are locked down and we're opening all the businesses and we, we, we don't opening the arts. And this is something that kind of make me a little. Uh, Sad, I don't really understand because we need more art. We need art more than anything else. I mean, we need to. I mean, if imagine the world without music, without painting, without photography, without food, like out of what we would just like make money. Like it was the, the, the world would be like just a place you, you cash in and you cash out. And it would be sad, it would be really, really sad actually. And I think we would be all depressed. So, guys, thank you so much. Uh, I, I want to make sure you you so you you hear the piano right piano sound and the pad sound that's inside it uh, the pad sound inside it you know wow you see Herman speak French too because of the technology so Herman is American he's speaking French he say I did my dinner uh, and I can eat it uh, while uh, I'm listening to Tony uh, because of thanks to the technology you know. So, wow. Yeah, I want to shout out to Nathan. Nathan was in the chat. Nathan is an amazing uh, guy. I, I, met, I met him. Uh, I just met him. This, this guy is incredible. He's like, he knew, it's kind of scary, he knew when I connected myself in my, into my PayPal. 
And then I went to the kitchen. I, I make a tea. He called me. He's like, you're making a tea, man. I was like, okay. What's happening? So this guy has a, is, you know, technology. So I guess uh, I, will, I will talk to you after this, man, because we need to get in touch. Someone at my website. I have no more website. I used to have 26C.com, and I have no more website. It's a poker game now. It's terrible, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, I have one more for you guys. And this this last one is um, is serious actually. I'm gonna play a, a tune called um, "Blues for the Real Human Beings." So this is a tune I, I wrote for a for a dear friend of mine who passed away not too long ago, but I mean a couple of years ago actually. But for me, it's like it was yesterday. But in, it was it was the, the the dad of my ex, but he was also someone I met uh, as a person that like was the dad of my ex. But he was also a beautiful person, and uh, he, he was a, an engineer and designer, and he designed boats. He designed boats for the American Cups and uh, yachts, you know, like uh, selling selling boats. And uh, he was so incredible. He was doing photography. He was uh, listening. He, he knew all the, the recordings. Like, you know, like he, he didn't know mine. You know, I was like, listen to mine. He was like, I'm listening to Bill Evans and to Herbie Hancock, or Oscar Peterson. I was like, all right, so good. But uh, you know, he was really. It was a. It was this dude was so deep. And uh, he had a piano in his place. He was out of tune, totally out of tune. And I decided to write a tune on his piano. And then when I played to, to him, I played to him. He was like, man, it's cool, but can you put a record on? So I was like, okay, stop. So I put, I put the recording, I put Oscar Peterson, and then I played some Jean-Sébastien Jean Bach and some Mozart. He was like, oh, it's better. It was, he, he was honest, you know, I like, I like honest, you know. So, yeah, I'm going to play this in our for him. It's called Blues for the Real Human Beings, because I, I thought it was really, you know, blues is always something we dip and we put your heart inside and then, um, yeah. That's for Doug Peterson. His name was Doug Peterson. Douglas Blair Peterson. You can you can look him up on Wikipedia. Or some incredible designer. <laughs> Thank you. 
guys it's called the uh, blues for really human beings it's a tune of mine is on the it's not on my last album it's on Seamus Blake album I played on it it's on this violin but is every time you you listen to this song it's coming back to me so let's go to but uh, it, if you want to listen to more of my work um my most uh, 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 last year two years ago or the last couple of years I, I record a lot of albums a lot of albums. I've been on many albums as a sideman, and uh, this one is the one I did as a, where, I, where I wrote the music for myself. And it's my um, my I'm I'm proud of this work. I'm proud of what I put on this double vinyl. It's a double vinyl. It's two vinyls, and there are some. It's a story about uh, sensitive creatures. In here is my mom and me, my mom and me when I was six months, and you can. You can find it anywhere. Life of sensitive creatures. I can, I can, I'm gonna write the name on the on the chat. You know, I'm sure. You can buy it anywhere. I think uh, you should buy it through the through me. You can buy it through me the vinyl, but I only have ten copy ten copy left in my house. I can send it to you via via, via mail, or you can go to Bandcamp, or you can go to iTunes Music, or you can go to if you want a digital. You can go anywhere. You know, it's, it's the album is everywhere. The name is Life. Of sensitive, my computer is about to, to die. <laughs> Creatures, my computer is, is killing. I mean, it's not killing, it's, it's, it's dying. <laughs> That's the name of the album, my last album. So, you guys, if you guys have some question, I'm um, we'd like to answer before my computer died. I mean, it's really warm, it's like it's like almost an oven. I want to cook a pizza, I'm gonna put my it's not funny. Okay, um, do we have some friends still there? Thank you, Marise. Marise, uh, merci beaucoup. Um, okay, do we have some friends still there? Like Marise is there, Montgomery is there. Who else is there? I wish I can see the number of people who are connected, but I guess you. 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Tomorrow, what, what's happening tomorrow? Why well, good luck tomorrow? I'm, you scared me now. What's happening tomorrow? <laughs> Thank you so much, Tony. We appreciate all of your work, man. We love you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's nice to hear someone, you know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I wish I can uh, invite everybody to for dinner, you know? That's it's impossible. Oh, yeah, the new instrument. Thank you. For the new instrument. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Tony, thank you so much. It has been an honor to have you. You are an extraordinary talent. So Muse is just honestly, we are we are thrilled. And our Muse Tech partners, Nathan, thank you so much for all of your help and support. And please come back and join us soon. Um, we will be sending a reminder to everyone with your extraordinary performance. Oh, thank you. Amazing. I, I, I can disconnect right, right now, right? Yes, we.